Howdy, folks, and welcome to Chocobo Stables. I am t playing the mysterious Ted, and I'm here with a little sub-episode, mini-sode, shall we say, um, showcasing a little bit of what goes on in between episodes, uh, because you know, there's a lot of boring stuff, grinding, and, uh, Soon to be breeding, you know, all the the boring stuff you may not want to see, but um, maybe some of you do. Who knows? Uh, drop a like down there if you do like this sort of content, and uh, maybe we'll continue. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, you sit there. Take that. Oh! Okay, uh, I'm gonna tell this guy to be. Alright, um. It's one. Uh, it's mysterious beeping in my head. Um. I feel like there should be another one somewhere. Why is it? Oh, it's stuck in the mouth, but that is not somewhere you want to be, Lonnie. Okay, cool. I'm uh, going over here. Um, yep, yeah, right there. There you go. Here you go, little dudes. Nah. Huh. You're white. Why are you white? None of your parents are white, dude. What the heck's going on here? You're cool looking though. Let's see. I don't know what's going on with you. Let's, um. Who's your parents? Okay. Great. Come here, dude. Okay. So um if this wrist thing is telling me the truth. You have a maximum of fifteen hundred. That's not from your mama. Might be your daddy. Okay, so you guys come out with like base uh, skills. Stab work. Huh. Alright, so no training before breeding. Got it. Good to know. Have to remember that for that Rexy boo if we ever want to breed it. Man. You really, really look weird. Anyways. Uh, okay. I think I need to do a little bit of paperwork. Alright. Uh, looks like... Um, well, I made a little bit of a mental note. Uh, for what all these guys should have. Unfortunately, a lot of the guys that we already trained 
not gonna really know what's what. But it, maybe, just maybe, these guys can help us. So we got this little dude. Uh, his parent uh, was this one. Yep, yep. And it didn't have her name at the time, so it's not showing. But we can tell because that specific one did have this healthiness. So this must be daddy's health. So that is Persians. Uh what the stamp does. Uh it's from his mama. Which you know that L wouldn't have actually trained uh, yeah, that. There's really no point. But this isn't the highest view. Uh, so far the highest healthy is stamina comes from a uh, female one right next to him. So that's not really useful. Carrying weight uh, 260. That has to be Persian because, well, now I'm trained Persian up a little bit. So, make a mental note. The damage is uh, 260 as well. Okay. Right. As far as I can tell, all the speed. So all the same with that guy, so I don't think that matters much. So, here 280, so you obviously didn't get that. You've been trained. So, I think you got your daddies. Which is crap. That is unfortunate. So, all in all, your mama and you aren't really useful to this whole line. Uh, oh. I'm just going to release this guy back to the wild. Now that I have uh, released him back to the wild. Yep, mm -hmm. that's what I did. Let's check the other one. So, you are from the other not named one, which is now named, which is actually a female one. Yep, so it pretty much confirmed that 1500 is Persian space. Cool. Alright, so we know that for sure. 680. Not what we wanted. Uh, actually, if we got its mothers, it'd be. Perfect. Uh, oxygen in and in, in, in. Nope. That's uh, that's actually it's mama's, but it's not the good one. Goodness. I'm not quite sure what's going on. This is the same exact as what the other baby had. So like. Couldn't be you. Is it you? You weren't trained at all. I've really stumped on them. By the way, I don't think booty necessarily is needed. Uh, weighty weightiness, though. That's your daddy's. It is crap. Uh, in the 260. Nope. You're not good either. Alright, I'm gonna release you too. Alright. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Oh man, you have a really weird looking at me. Uh, this alien stuff we're doing. But, 
looks like the imprinting these days, they gave better stat work. So they get stronger the more you cuddle them. That's awesome. <laughs> I ain't gonna cuddle the crap out of you. Okay, maybe one of your ancestors. I mean, not quite. Like, your great, great, great grandchild. Who knows? Nah. And I'm gonna collect all of you. Okay, tails are really annoying. Ray. These guys aren't too powerful, but they are more powerful than you. I'm getting short on meat. Mutation, buddy. I think we figured out what kitty's health. Ah. Radio. Okay, so that is now officially still. Uh, I could stamina. Not good oxygen, no, I don't care about foodliness. I think I don't know what that's coming from. I think there's something wrong with Persian because it keeps happening to multiple of his children. And now we know my kitties. Wait. Alright. Cute. Um. Then. Not great, Taylor. Well, you were useful for something. Uh, just not what I needed you to be useful for. Okay. You are from one impression, okay. So you got the better healthiness, but that still doesn't matter. White kitty is the best out of all you guys. You got your daddy's stamina, which isn't great. You got the cruddy oxygen, not great. Food is so jacked up. Oh man, everyone's food is just jacked up. This is this is not good. Uh, waiting is actually the best one. With damage. Wait. 
No, I'm supposed to add up 360. But you have 364. Dude, what is going on, man? There's some real funky weirdness going on. I don't like it. But you only have those two. It's actually less than all. No. No. Yeah, you're female too, aren't you? Yep. So you should have. Yep, you have some good oxygen. And good food. Okay. That's something. And you're open. But you're already better than your daddy. <laughs> Alright. We can work with this. Got to record. That's not great. Oh no! Oh, and your mama wanted to eat you. Well, it's not just life, I guess. Nice to circle up it, anyway, isn't it? Okay. Let's get you back up. Oh crap. Please. Don't make me. Okay. Sure. We're gonna go on top of that. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Good now. Just getting some beef. Yeah. It's me, run time. thing again. Cool. So I opted to take version and female two out. Come on, little dude. It's okay to come out with your pulsating gooey gooeyness. I'm mildly disturbed. Whoa. Um. Uh. Oh, God. 
Okay. Okay. It's. It's one. I feel like there's another one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, come on, little dudes. I have no idea what's going on. You definitely like the. Excuse me. No. Stop. Got an idea. Still. Still down here. Oh, jeez. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, I was thinking of making library slash crafting here. And I think I'm going to put it back in here. Um, like here. But I'm not too sure where I'm going to put it. Do I want to put it up in the box? You know what? I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on stilts. That way you can walk underneath of it. It's like a big dude like this, right? But also have like a ramp inside where you can walk stuff into it. Hmm. Yeah, I like that idea. Alright. Time to get some materials.
Came back oh. to the bank. Check little babies. And this dude is all grown up. Um, he's like really strong. The imprint. Really? This bug's really good. So go grab one and we can do some tests. Ready to set this. Okay, so already baby seems that a bit. So Okay, that's decent. That's better. We definitely want to be bringing animals. Oh man, it's just going to be so crazy.
generation of little babies. Already seeing something very, very strange. Can you tell me what is going on with this one? This one was not bred with that cat. Is it white again? <laughs> what the heck? This is too weird.
感觉。Yeah. Tan. Tan. Wait. Tan. Is the kitties talking to me? No, God damn it! It's Tan. Huh? Who? Oh wait. Ted, I'm a. I don't know what the fuck you did, but I can't get out of this bed. Um. So, uh, I just did what you said, dude. I didn't mean it fucking literally, motherfucker. Well, you said that you didn't want to like accidentally fall out of the bed. Like I thought that would help you. You know, weren't you saying, like, that last night that, you know, consent is everything? I did not tell you, hey, handcuff me to the motherfucking bed. I mean, technically you did, uh, you know, consent and everything because you told me to do it. I did not say, Ted, handcuff me to this bed so I don't fall off the boat. Well, I'm pretty sure that if anyone were listening to that conversation, they would agree with me. You know, I should kick your ass. Yeah. How'd you sleep, dude? I mean, pretty well. Um, did you take all my stuff to my house? Cause there's kind of they're kind of empty pocketed. Uh, yeah, I uh, I actually moved a bunch of the stuff off the boat. I think that we still have the stuff that we found uh, up in one of the storages. But like, yeah, I moved pretty much everything else. All right, cool. Uh, so I've been kind of busy while you've been out. Um, yeah, just follow me. <laughs> come on, come All on, right. come on. Yeah, yeah. Great. All right. See. So now, when <clears throat> when did you tame a green and a white cat and a yeah? Oh, I like that yellow cat. So. I've been really busy, right? So, I kind of took what you had said to heart. Uh, you remember when you mentioned about, like, you know, breeding the best of each of the cats together? Yeah. So, I've been doing that, right? And huh. sometimes, you get these weird, like, mutations from them or something. And you get these different colors. And sometimes, like... With that blue cat over there, uh, you actually get like better uh, qualities of it, you know? Oh, huh, that's weird. It is, but I think it's something we're supposed to do, you know? Because, like, let me tell you, man, when you breed these things together and then, like, you know, you get them like all bonded with you and everything, they get really friendly. And when they get friendly, they get strong. Huh. I wonder if I could do the same with the birds. Oh, I'm pretty sure. I'd actually like to see them. Oh, you know what, Ted? Huh? We oh, could... No. We could apply this whole breeding thing and have a whole bunch of super strong whatever we decide to bring to fight those other things and the obelisks. Well, from what I've been seeing, I don't think it's going to be the kids. No, I don't think so. They're not quite as healthy as I would like. But, um, when they're, you know, imprinted up and bonded with and everything, uh, I think they're going to be really good cave critters, though. Oh, hell yeah, especially if they have a girl and a boy with together. Oh, yeah. Exactly. We'll be, we'll be a force to be reckoned with. So, like, I kind of had a feeling that, uh, you know, I'll get each of us a cat and, uh, you know, make our own, like, color combinations. So, I'll kind of pick and choose something for you. I think you'll like it. I mean, I'm kind of liking the, the yellow head and the yellow body. Shut up. I wasn't going to do that. I just say what I think I'd like. <laughs> Also, I've been doing the little, uh, buggy sticky dudes. Uh-huh. Say hello to plates. 
This is my good boy. <laughs> oh, his eyes are a weird color. Uh, so weird. Yeah. yeah. I love guns look like that. It's kind of freaky, but... A little bit. They're not really all that great. They don't carry much. Uh... Maybe we could have them for, like, defenses. Uh, so they can, like, spit acid. Um... Yeah, and it doesn't really do a whole lot either, except for, you know, burn through your armor when you guard it. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, we also gotta bear in mind, too, that, like, we got some really weak ones. Yeah, we kind of just tamed them on a, on a whim. I mean, they were easy, man. They were right there, you know. And they didn't get super angry at us when we were in the water, so... Exactly. I think that's the way to go. Kind of try and lead them to the water and leave them be? Yeah. Uh, but even still, like, these guys aren't all that fast. Like I say, I don't think you're going to be able to carry a whole lot. <clears throat> uh, and even like this, uh, even, you know, like, bonded with and everything, they really aren't all that strong, so... And I don't see much of a use, dude. Yeah, same deal. They are pretty, though. They are. Maybe kind of release them... Well... Do you think they'd be fine if you released them back into the cave? Maybe. Um... I mean, we can. You see all those kitties over there? Yeah. Yeah, those are all the ones that I don't really need any more for breeding. Uh, I'm gonna be racing them back out into the wild. I figured they could take over the, like, hill over there where we get our middle. Oh, hell yeah! We could do that. Since they're already friendly to us, so, like, they can just wander around and protect the area. Yeah, why not? I think that'd be real nice. Yeah. And then we don't have to worry about feeding them. They can just kind of, like, you know, feed themselves. Yeah, I like that. Um... Let's see. What else do I want? Uh, oh, yeah! So, oh. Uh, I was thinking about that library idea. Uh, I think I put it out to you, like, once before. So, yeah. I, I Did we talk about that? I was pretty tired, so I can't remember if we talked about that. That was pretty high, so I can't really remember either. <laughs> oh, God. That's <laughs> a terrible combination. But anyways, I did. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you, do you have any more of those weird, like, plant seeds that you got over there? Um, my buddy. Because... Uh, I got two beats, more. I just need one. Um, because I kind of feel like my one side of the house is kind of, like, un unprotected. And it kind of makes me feel a little wonky not having it protected. Yeah, I... that's some bad news. I'm really sorry. Uh, I was going to tell you about that as well. Uh, Peter kind of got eaten by a Dilophus. Oh, god damn. Yeah, I'm really sorry, dude. Oh, well, I mean, at least you'll have Ducky as a buddy. Nah, uh, it's true. If there is a dino heaven, uh, that's a weird concept. Uh, but Ducky's actually been helping me. Ducky's been helping me over there. Uh, because they like, you know, they alert to uh, enemies and stuff, but... I guess they kind of get freaked out by, like, babies. So he's been alerting huh. me to babies. Huh. I might have to get one for myself. Um, I think because when you ride them around a little bit, they can, like, you know, do a super loud honk and, like, scare stuff. I think I can just have them sit there and kind of, like, scare things away. So I think I'm going to actually do that at the front of the library. All right. Cool. 
I might just actually put Duck U there because I think he can still uh, kind of sense things over here and still help me with that. But I do have an area where you should be able to bring your birds to. Oh, very nice. All right, let me let me see where this is at. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. We're just gonna do this, and then we'll do like a big reveal. Love that. All right. Uh, if I can find where we're going. I know Johnson. Oh, there's Johnson. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, very nice day. Well, even get back on. Just stay oh, oh, hang on. All right, all right. We'll go ahead and look at it in a second. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. You got plants all over the place. I got four of them around. So I might want to put some more. I mean, I don't know. I don't think we're really going to need more than that. This is basically just to keep those damn birds away. Yeah, I mean, they can go a pretty... They can shoot a long distance, so that shouldn't be a problem. They're still growing a little bit, so... Well, we got to wait a little bit. But this is going to be the breeding area. Uh, you know, if you want to do a little something-something up in here. A little something, oh, hell something yeah. up in there. Then, got a AC over here. You can hatch your egg eggs. Might need to put more, I'm not sure. Well, I'll see what I can do with my birds, and I will let you know. All right, all right. Uh, good. Uh, testing for the future, I guess. But yeah, here's the inside, man. Oh, wow. Holy shite. Yep, yep. Very nice. What is this? This is something new that I have just been able to actually make myself. So this is an industrial forge, man. It runs on gas, but it's supposed to smell metal even faster. Oh, that'd be real nice. So I'm going to put one piece of gas in there, right? There's like 900 some metal right now. Right. Turn that on. Let's see. This thing was really expensive. There's a lot of polymers, a lot of oil, a lot of metal, a lot of cement based. Oh, damn. Which we have a lot of cement based, anyways. But still, all the other stuff's kind of. This thing does what I want it to do. Oh, there's 20 metal already. Oh, wow. That's I'm... like so much shorter. Yeah, dude. That's like the time that eight forges that were just here before I put this thing here would have just created eight ingots. So like, there's 40 already. Like, this is nuts, man. Yeah, I want to make. Can... Uh, this is real helpful. It is. I kind of want to make another one up uh, by the volcano. Oh, yeah, that would be balls to the wall, man. Oh, uh, okay. No, I don't have to walk uh, You know the club deal that we got? Yeah, the Enki. Yeah, uh, we still need a name, by the way. But uh, you were saying about how maybe you could hit some rocks and uh, help us collecting, you know, kind of like a uh, Kruger can with, like, animals and stuff. But he does. He collects so much metal, dude. <laughs> I was right. Where? It's awesome. I was actually really impressed by that. So I ended up clearing off the entire hillside over there of metal. All right. I hope uh, eventually the rain like washes away some more deposits. We can like find some more. Uh, but I took. Kruger, I took Johnson, I took uh, Stiletto, I took Ducky. Yeah, I took like everything uh, that I have that actually has a little bit of weight and uh, went up there and filled every single one of them up and came back. Damn! Yeah, uh, 
The rest of it <laughs> is in the fabricator. Oh, damn! Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, by the time we were finished, we had like 3,000 gigs, uh, plus some. Unfortunately, this behemoth has used up most of them. Oh, hell. I think it was worth it, though. Oh, definitely. That is so nice. Really is. So, what's this over here? It looks like a grill, but I don't know. Yes, yes. So, that is exactly what it is. It is a candy like a McDonald's grill. Oh, I could totally go for some McDonald's right now. I feel you, man. I could go for some nuggies myself. <laughs> Oh, man. I miss Nuggies. Maybe we could do some Dodo Nuggies. Oh, yeah. D yeah. Mm. So, this cooks up meat, like, really, really fast. Um, it's got, like, a, I don't know, campfire, except it just cooks it really fast. It needs gas to run, by the way. Yeah, figures. Um, you might notice as this entire place is powered. Uh, yeah, come here. <laughs> Follow the power cables. <laughs> this actually looks really nice and tidy. I am very impressed. Where is it? Wait. It's coming off of my house. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't care. I figured we already had two generators running, so and you don't really run too much in your house. I just kind of plugged it up. Now that's fine. All Make right, it nice cool. and efficient. Uh, I was kind of worried you'd be mad at me, but cool. No, it's totally worth it. This benefits the both of us. Man, Dad, I would love that. If we ever get back, and if we ended up in my timeline... I would totally have you on as one of my workers. Hey, what did you do? I was construction. I was a uh, pretty much like a supervisor. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Yeah, this is this is mighty impressive. I'm glad you like it. Um, yeah, a little better with the stone work. Uh, not breaking. I'm very impressed how you laid this glass in along with the stone. It's very seamless. Very professional work. Uh, I figured, uh, you know, it looked really nice to have, like, the greenhouse uh, over there. And I was like, you know, maybe some bits of the glass over here would be pretty nice. And even the ceiling, you know? Yeah, it lets in lots of light. Exactly. Uh, I do have lights uh, on the sides that I can actually like shining in. Uh, one yeah. over here and one over there. It lights up the place pretty nice, though. Yeah. But, uh, library part, right. Uh, here is where we keep most of our materials. Each one's different box. Alright. If we go over this, we're probably doing something wrong. Uh, <laughs> over here is where we actually keep each individual type of blueprints. Most of the extra stuff, aside from building as well, uh, kind of goes into this last one here. Uh -huh. uh, so we got quite a few blueprints. I don't know if you have any more stashed away somewhere, but it'd be nice to add them in. Oh, well, hell yeah, I'll definitely do that. And um, do we have anything for kind of like um, stuff we kind of want to throw away? Stuff you kind of want to throw away. Um, well, like in my arm thing, I know how to make a grinder, which kind of just. See that. Like it's kind of taking up space, but I also don't want to throw it away. Well, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. But if. I'm kind of guessing that the grinder doohickey is going to be pretty big, so maybe we can stick it over here in the corner. We can put a box over here somewhere. 
your stuff if you want to like yeah. collect for it. I mean, I have one in my house already, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, box your stuff. Yeah. Hmm. No, I mean, that's up to you. We can put a box here and just kind of like collect a few things. I don't know how big it's going to be, so like, I don't know how much of this space is going to be used up, if not more of it. Yeah, you know, let's wait until we actually get the thing, and then we can go from there. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Although boxes are pretty easy to make. Uh, anyways, uh, also about that stuff, uh, we got actual items that we might find over here. So this is structures. Uh, you know, if you have extra structures you want to just kind of like get rid of, don't just trash them, or just pop them in here. Maybe somebody else can use them. Alright. got saddles, we got weapons, and we got armor, which we don't have a huge selection of right now. No, not really. We're kind of wearing the best of the best we can right now. Yeah, yeah from what I've been seeing, we should be able to find these metal plate uh, blueprints. We haven't really found any. Wow, the day is moving by really quick. Yeah, I happened to see something moving behind me, and I was like, what the sh what is that shadow? And I looked, <laughs> and I saw it was night time. It kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> that was really weird. Um, but over here, we also have the markers. Um, I have a feeling later on we're going to be able to get something better for this as well, because, you know, we're getting better uh, cooking stuff for uh, metal, cooking stuff for food. Food storage options, you know, we have fridges. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get something better for this, too. Alright, sounds fair. That'd be so nice, being able to make gunpowder that much faster. I know, right? Uh, this should be able to burn... Oh, well, all that metal's done. Damn! Okay, well... Yeah. We're going to need put some more. Definitely. Like, a lot more. <laughs> uh, I know I gotta make some more uh, air conditioners around. I wanna keep this place feeling pretty nice in here. So maybe not on this side, too. I mean, I feel fine over in this entire place, so. Alright, I don't know, I won't bother with it. Uh, but if the Aggies need any more, then we'll have to make another one, so... Oh yeah, that's fair. I never took this later. There we Holy go. shit, now I can see! Uh, A lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Should we do higher, like, medium uh, output? Uh, I would do high on this one because the eggs will be hatching over on that side. Well, we could always put a little light over there, too. That would be cute. I mean, I can see with eye of this, so it don't bother me none. I don't know how sensitive your eyes can be. No, I can see, too. Um, but, like, hatching your babies, maybe you want to look at, like, how beautiful the coloring is. Yeah, we can, yeah, I think... Maybe I have another light in my house. I'm not 100% sure. Now go ahead and look. Otherwise, I can just make it pop. Alright. Now, while I'm over there, I'll, um... I'll check to see if I have any, uh, fancy shit. Uh... Like, gear? Yeah, gear, blueprints, shit like that. Okay. Uh, oh, you need more fertilizer in that, by the way? I uh, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, this thing's really not using much. Uh, I don't think it's really doing a whole lot for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least it keeps whatever the, uh... Whatever is out there, like in the water, keeping it at bay. I'm gonna use Let's a few more stuff. Yes. Alright, go for it. That, that, that. Here we go. 
Go on one or two more. Uh, let's do one for right now. Well, we did one for right now before, and uh, Ducky or not Ducky, Peta kind of paid for us. Well, yeah, you're right. I'm just surprised um, the tribe didn't kind of get all angry at it. Uh, even if he did, he wouldn't have been able to do crap. Let's be honest. He's on the other side of the building of where Peter was. I mean, he could also have moved over. Moving's a thing. Yeah, but these animals are kind of dumb. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm putting the second one uh, behind your house. Uh, basically how I'm doing it, it's going to give you a little bit of room to like put your stuff behind your house here, or like beside your house. So like, All right. there's one over here, and now I'm going to put one over oh. here. Alright, sounds good. Uh, I'll just put it at the top of the door. There we go. Uh, and all you gotta do is just hook up some water and you should be alright. Alright. Uh... Well, it seems like you have a pipe coming through here, so I may just connect it from there. Yeah, that'll work for that one. Uh, I don't have any water containers on me to water it. Uh, I forgot it in the house. Oh, you have a training, dude. Ah, there you go. Holy shit. I think it's been a while since we had one of damn. What? Uh, trainings for Long Johnson. Yeah, uh, yeah it is, actually. Uh, Long Johnson's uh, pretty strong. I would like to get either another Long Johnson uh, or something else that could carry a lot more. Hmm. I was thinking, you know how we've seen one of those giant birds up in the air? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, maybe we can go hunting for one of them. That'll help us get a lot of metal and stuff. Maybe. Oh, yeah. And I would Definitely. think that thing can carry a lot. It looks awfully slow, though. I mean, so is Johnson, but at least it would have the added benefit of being able to fly. True. I don't know. That's up to you. Um, we could also uh, just take out some, like, kitties and go exploring on foot. That would be good. Because these, uh, these kitty cats are going to keep us pretty safe. Yeah, no doubt. Especially if they're stronger than what they used to be back on that naughty no-no island. I uh, know. In that cave, I mean, they did pretty well. It's just a matter of, uh, well, their healthiness a bit. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah. I think you'll be more impressed than anything. I mean, I already am impressed. Yeah, uh, sorry, I've been doing a lot of work, you know, with uh, you not being awake and all. That is completely fine. Uh, I'd actually like a light out front here. I think we need that. Uh, also, I guess underneath here could be used as like a dino storage or something. Yeah, that could be cool. Not 100% sure about that. I mean, we could. I uh, just don't know what to put underneath. That just made it so that we can, like, where are you anyways? Uh, on the side of my house trying to get shit to place. Mm. Oh, hi. Hi. You're trying to please. Hey, it kind of wasn't working right on the ground, so I kind of stuck it up top. Gonna try and uh, take the pipe. Kind of do like a whole bunch of like weird pipes. 
go over my house to the back one. Oh, hell, you could just like use the flexible hoses, you know? Oh, that's a thing? Yeah, dude. Uh, kind of think of looking up like flex. They're a lot easier to work with, in my opinion. You can just lay them on the ground. Look them up huh. that way. All right. Yeah, they look a little bit better, too, I think. Rather than just, like, uh, this. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I already took it down. But yeah, uh, I'm going to get back to work on the kitty cats. Um, I'll uh, come back in a bit and uh, see what you do with the birdies, huh? Yeah, definitely. What oh. the hell? What uh, are you doing? It, God damn it, now I can't. Why can't I? You got to come over here. Oh. Yeah. Going to do that, okay, from the angle, from how I was kind of looking at it, I thought I was on the ground, but apparently not. So, yeah, you gotta make sure you're looking at the actor. Just, if you have to, crouch. Just look down. Fair enough. <laughs> it takes a little getting used to. Oh. You have... What? Uh, I was just gonna say, like, at least it's raining right now. Like, yeah. they'll, they'll fill up with a bit of water and actually start growing. It'll take them a while, believe me. It, it takes a while for them to grow. The plants up there haven't even finished yet. <laughs> oh, when did you place dam? Um, a while ago. <laughs> it's almost like the world goes to sleep every time we go to sleep or something. That is a little weird, but hey, you know what? I've just learned to not ask questions anymore. I know, right? We're living with fucking dinosaurs! <laughs> 